Bible says at the entrance of your word, give it light and give it understanding to the simple. So as the word of God is coming, I want you to pray in your heart. And Father, let the light of the word shine upon me. Eradi ma semeni mo hai en tomi kremo. Eradi en bie ma jeni en tia sieni. So that I can walk by the way. Just begin to pray to God. Just begin to pray to God. Just begin to pray to God. As we humbly be on our feet and put our hands together as we welcome the Bishop of God, Prophet Daniel Atake JB. Do it better, do it better. Keep on celebrating our Father. Celebrate our Father. Celebrate our Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shall we lift our hands before Jesus? We want to bless God for today. It's a wonderful time. God has given unto all of us to celebrate. For the, it's a privilege to see the light of the day. It's good that we have seen the light of the day. Our Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the glory. Father, feed us through your word and help us to gain a new understanding so that we go as a new people in Jesus name amen. amen put your hands together for the Lord amen, amen. praise God hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah. so being the first service or second service does not mean you do not understand English amen, amen. Uh, it's, it's a choice of how you want to arrange yourself in the church so it does not mean that onte brofun tina waba amen eradin shaw onyo kese ewo yesu demo praise god hallelujah and there's a system that we need to follow few of the system that god has been putting in place ah ese idiechi na onya me gina so na odum ye na obua ye i'm say brofun na kan wo me hu say me ka twi me so amen Amen. Amen. And then a Father's Day. You can't Father's Day. I'm saying, Kofu be brave at your seat. Now, you can't judge here. Everybody have idea about who is a father is. Because anybody here, Obi be our head, be our no. A job in a war. Now, a camera question is a job. The celebration day of the fathers has been given a little bit of attention. Why is that so? I wish that somebody would interpret me because I don't know what to say. Where's the interpreter? Are you in church? Come, help me. Put your hands together for you. Don't mind. We are doing the service. Don't mind. Whether you or something, don't mind. Because there are some things I want to do. I think I can express it more good in English. Amen. Nobody is using English to try to relax. Amen. Amen. Everybody has an idea about who a father is. Everybody has an idea who a father is. But the right and the right and the great father is one. We all known from the hand and then the line of Jesus. That Jesus is the true son of God. So Jesus even has a father. Jesus has a father. He said, my father who is in heaven. So it's automatic that everybody on earth, so long as you are living on earth, there should be a father. But for you to treat your father well depends on you. And if you don't want to treat him well, depends on you. But the fact still remains the same. That everybody has a father. And Jesus said, I am from my father. I'm going back to my father. So the name father 
is around everybody. So don't take your mind anywhere. Even Jesus, who is the God of this life, refer to the God who is up there is a father. So it's not that nobody has a father. Now then, let me explain something to you. That when we say that father, it's a duty and authority and situation. When we say someone is a father, what makes someone a father? There are some few things make someone father. And these are the things. The other day, the disciples went to Jesus and said, Sir, teach us how to pray. In other words, everybody should know how to pray. If you are a child of God, know how to pray. I had an experience this week. I'm shocked to that experience. I get a few men in the church and I ask them one thing. Which is the chapter and where is it in the Bible? That Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and life. 28 church members. To the shame of the church, 28 church members. And you will say, I asked them one by one. None of them was able to tell me where that quotation is. It's to my surprise. And it makes me understand that a lot of church members they are in church, but they are not part of what you are doing. How are you in church and you're not regular with the things of church? It means a lot of church members don't read Bible. It means some of you don't fast. Lastly, some of you are not living a holy life. And these are the only three pillars for every believer to count himself as a child of God. Then prayer is the one of them. So the disciples said, teach us how to pray. And Jesus said, if you want to pray, when you are to pray, this is what you have to say. So he give them the idea about prayer. Church, let me ask you, with my sincere heart of begging, be a Christian, don't be in church. For you being in church, that's not mean you are a child of God. So, the Lord come it. The Lord come by. You can't deceive anybody. If it is not so, I will not tell you. The Lord come Let me say this. If you mix heaven, there is no joy that can replace mixing heaven. Sometimes you have something that when you mix it, you have other things to replace. If I lost my wife, I can have somebody to replace. If I lost my husband, I can have somebody to replace. If I lost my son, I can make my wife pregnant again. If I lose my business, I can find another business. But when I mix heaven, there's no other heaven. So you have to be very careful. Some of us, the way we live our life, as if we are going to be here forever. Death is like a wind. As we're feeling the wind right now, sometimes the wind will not blow again. Sometimes it can blow from the east. Otherwise, from the west, but you can cease. So as death, don't live your life as if you will be here forever. Prepare yourself and live right. The kind of life we are living these days, as Christians, eh? I, I know God is crying up there. God is crying up there because people are not cautious about what they are doing. So they want to Jesus said, teach us. So go to a church where the man of God is a teacher. Not that we mention somebody's name that you are clear from Poma and somebody's clapping. It's, it's not church. It's a, it's a club. 
A church when the man of God is a teacher. Why he can teach you to know your left and right. So the disciples said, teach us to pray. And Jesus, young man, 30 years said, teach us. Wisdom of life has no age limit. Wisdom of life has no age limit. I can see a lot of you are sleeping. I can see it's not forced to be part of first service, second service. Don't sleep. If you force me, I will combine the church one. The way some of you are sleeping, eh? When I when I come down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> some of you are the way. The way some of you are sleeping, I don't know. Stand on your feet, stand on your feet. Sorry, <laughs> Lift up your hands and say, I will not sleep. Do this. Say, I will not sleep. I will stay awake and receive my blessing. Shut up, change your level. Sit down. Amen. When you are in church and then the person sitting next to you is sleeping, shake the person. Help the person by shaking it. This is that we are listening to the word of God. You went to Jesus. And Jesus never hesitated. He said, This is it. And when you want to receive something, uh, God is ready to give it out. When you pray, pray that our Father who is in heaven, now the first Father, the first Father is God. Now, when you are in church here, so, uh, sorry, huh? and you don't relate well as God your father, having a thousand biological fathers is not necessary. So, uh, the first father, uh, and first things are very important. And the, a rich man went to Jesus and said, Which are the greatest commandments in the Lord? And Jesus never started by saying that, number one. He said, First thing. What it means is that first things are very important. Teach us how to pray. But he said, First, your father who is in heaven. So, no matter what you want to do on earth, if you don't put God first as your father, forget about it. How can I put God first in my life? In a form of relationship. And to shock you and to shock everybody. There are some people here, they are not relating to God as their father. And that's why anything at all can happen to you. For those of you who are in church, maybe by prayer meeting and then other testimonies, you join church. But learn to declare that Jesus is the Lord of life over your life. Stand and declare that I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come and live into my heart and guide my life. Write my name in the book of life. If you are here, you have not done that. You are still not a child of God. Be very careful. This is a very simple thing. Make sure you do that. That is why he said, Our Father. A particular people, a group of people. Let them know that Jesus is the Father. They call him Father. Said, Our Father. Who is in heaven? Hello be thy name. Now, when you relate well with God as a Father, you honor the name of God. So, if you are a Father, your name has to carry a certain honor. Psalm 49 verse 20 he said a man in a place of honor like a father but does not know that he is in a place of honor he will die like a beast so he said Jesus is our father our father who is in heaven learn to relate well with God so that he can call him father and when you are able to call him father then you can communicate well and honor the name of the Lord. Now we have a lot of symbolics between God and the Son and the Father and the Sonship. 
One of them, which is very common, is prodigal son. You have a picture in Luke chapter 15, verse 20. Now, that there's a son who is living with the father and forcing the father to give it his inheritance. And the Bible said that you go away and spend all the inheritance. And when less than a short time he lost everything and he realized that there's a father I pray that you are going to realize that there's a certain father people live their life as if there's no father in the father is watching you somewhere so make sure you live right so when the son squandered everything and then he realized there's a father and then he said I want to go back to my father and the way the guy Put on into that phrase he that so he so said, How many servants that my father doesn't have? So I have to go back to him. So let me tell you this. Don't be in church and mess up your life. Relate well with the father and see him as a father. And honor the name of the father. And when you honor the name of the father, it's by relating well with him. But logically, all of us we are. We are, we are giving birth to this love and we have a lot of children. Some of us, we have two, we have three. For, for my situation, I have four. And for you to love your children is those who relate with you well. So learn to relate well with God. Our Father who is in heaven. So learn to relate with him as your father. And and thy name. And make sure that you honor the name of the Lord. Why God still teach them prayer and then he said that, hallowed be thy name. And then the name of God is next to his what? His kinship as what? A fatherhood over the earth. So anytime that God wants us eh, to relate with him as father, he wants us to honor his name. So fathers who are in the position of fathers, huh, they have good name. And how do I become a father who has a good name? It's my act. A lot of people are complaining all over. The Father's Day has been diminished. The Father's Day has been looking upon. And we have been treated with less attention. It's by an attitude. And why that the Mother's Day has been hired up and everybody wants to celebrate Mother's Not even the Father's The name and the honor upon Father's are not there. And we thank God for the new generation of Christians. That you are doing your best to honor the name of Father's. That's why I don't go around and pregnant people. Don't just give birth here, give birth here, give birth here. Man, Five, what? six, which you are not taking care of. Man, them. It's not honor in the name of the father. So, so if you're a father, you learn to live right so that your name will what? Keep a certain honor. So don't say that you are a father and then whereby you don't relate to well with it's other man, people. Now you see some young boys, 25, 26 they are impregnate people all over. Huh? They, are, they are not sharing any responsibility. They are doing so all of things. And that's why when you are in church, take good care for your life. Don't be here and mess up. Don't be in church and then at the same time, huh? go around and then impregnate girls and then all over. What kind of life is that? You have to be very careful. Say the name of the Lord deserves a certain honor. As a father. So before I close, I have to come out with a certain name which can describe you as good fathers. We have a certain things which it has with the name. That we have biological fathers. Biological fathers. We have potential fathers. We have spiritual fathers. We have God fathers. People that we accept them as our fathers. People that we accept them as spiritual fathers. And these two fathers are to make a choice upon. 
But to be a biological, you have no choice over it. You don't have a choice over the kind of father who will be your biological father. It is the arrangements of God who will put you into truth to a certain father who can be your biological. And that is why you have to give honor to your biological father. A lot of Christians in the church they don't care about their fathers. Some of you are fortunate your fathers are still alive. But one of the last time you communicate with them, especially ladies, your mother can poison you about your father. That your mother is, your father is not good. Your father did this and that, this and that. When I was impregnated you, by the time that I was going through suffering, by her, so a lot of mothers have been poisoned their children about their father. And you are a child of God, you have seen light. Under thy mother and father. Under thy mother and what? Don't give it all to the mother. Under fathers too. I pray in the name of Jesus. And I declare by the reason of the fatherhood. May you become so blessed by Anna the fathers. Uh, women are very wicked. But at the same time, they are very good. They are balanced people. They can twist life and they can make it right for you. And that's why, if you're a man, learn to, relate, learn to relate with your wife well. A woman can be quiet for 30 years because he has no money to take care of his children. After 30 years, when some of them become doctors, pharmacists, engineers, Pastors, prophets, then you assemble them one day and they begin to give you the life story and the pain you have put them through. Every child and every children love their mother. And mothers are manipulators. They can cry and tell you stories that you have never, you have no idea about it. So as soon as the mother will begin to release every information, to the children, huh? it's and the children begin to dislike you. No, I'm more bad with you. A lot of fathers are suffering because of what mothers are telling their children. If you're a woman here, yeah, don't do that. So you're about how many, sir? That you spoil your children's mind concerning your husband. So sell, ma, wa, Maybe no more you are not married with that man, but don't spoil the man. Whether you like it or not, it's the choice of God so, who gave you that biological father. I know this age, you have no right to, to this honor. I hear people say, my father did not take me to who school. Who told you that for you to be in school to make you rich. Who told you that? For you to have certificates to make you rich. I am the Lord your God. Who give the power to become rich. So whatever that you are looking for is in the hand of God. That is why you have no choice over the kind of biological father who is going to give birth to you. I announce upon 60 people right now. No matter what and how who that father who gave birth to you are, huh? you are going to succeed in Jesus' name. Then to say, do what is right. Do what is right. Some people over two years, one year, you have never given your father a seat. I'm talking about your biological father. It's an evil to do that. Because the Bible says, when you are a man, then I cry over you. Now, when you are a man, then I cry over you. Now, when you are a man, then I cry over you. Now, when you are a man, then I cry over you. Now, when you are a man, then I cry over you. Now, some of the young guys and then you are not well with your fathers because your mother said something said that said that. if you're a woman don't do that so your mama, yes, sir. I remember one day I told my wife so I am not in the house and then some of my children got stronger beat them do whatever you want to do don't wait until I come back anytime that they are misbehaving say wait your father is coming why do you want to paint me you want to paint me that I'm the wicked man eh? when I come back I will beat them meanwhile you are there you can beat them you can correct them now that you see if you're a woman listen don't do that to them. when you come back and they report to you because you are not there and I'm you reported speech it's like commentators radio tv and news and then commentators said, but when you are there huh? so when they report to you this of your son 
this of your daughter Obawe. has done this and that Why are you out of anger and I'm a you enter into your chambers no, call, you call. came with a belt no, I call, I call. and then you beat the child mercilessly no, I call, I call. as we're beating the child so, no, no, no. the mother will come back from the no, kitchen it's enough say, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. enough yeah, yeah. leave her yeah, yeah. leave her yeah, yeah. He was reported, and the next moment he was being a mediator, a maker of peace. I learned this thing. So I told my wife, when any of them got rough, correct them. When I come back, report, and I'll add my own. I don't want to be a wicked man. And when I'm beating my children, and he says it's enough, we will knock a yak and so on. I report to my milk. I pray for the mothers in the name of Jesus. And if your father here, live a good way so that your name will have glory. Shout, I live in honor. Let us honor the name of the father. As a wife, honor your husband's name. Treat him well. Some of the family, the mothers are not treating the fathers well. That is why the father has no honor in the name. Let me tell you, for all that, there are some things you don't know. For me, me, I gave my money to my wife. Me, but always give it in secret. Me, I'm the man me. I gave money to my wife. Me, I'm the man But always give it in secret. Me, I'm the man me. But always give it in But he is going to. He is the one who is going to dispute the money to my wife. If care is not taken, and this woman is a bad woman. So my she and I saw you in a bunny. So your father is not giving any money. I say, what your mother is giving you? It's my money. I'm giving you. Me, I'm this kind of man. Me, I'm giving the money in a place. I'm not giving this kind of man. Fathers, we are doing our best. Most of Christian fathers. Oh, my boy, Christopher. Some mothers don't paint us. It's a man. My mother, my man, in Jesus' name. And not as well in front of your children. Yes, I put you a booby. My boy, my man, and you. That you are still married, a man, or you are not in marriage. With the man, huh? don't spoil the man. Some of our problems are the mothers. I pray that may the Lord have mercy on you. Amen. You want it all on your side. You want it all on your side. Don't paint any man. You know he's not taking care of you, but don't paint him. Learn to train them that this is your father. Because as Christians, we don't pay back even with good. So if you are a mother, you don't paint your children. It is someone you know how men can't send money. So my boys, as you were getting and starting life and then marry, treat your wife well. That is why you don't have to give birth here, give birth here. You divide your life. No woman like that, you know. He doesn't want to share it with anybody. That's why people are preaching now. You can marry for you can marry three. Don't listen to that. Be very careful. As for the Abraham that we know, he stayed with Sarah with the pressure of Sarah, and then he got to Hagar, and then he gave better huh? with the pressure. But one one outside marriage which he entered in. That is the trouble of the world today. One, 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 one. Remember with Hagar. Part of that Ishmael. And the world is suffering today. Last three weeks or so. Now what you mean say church was the people enter church. Oh my Kali church. They spray people like something. When they trace the background, a certain seed from that man. Man, don't spoil your life. Don't spoil your life by dividing your life into other things. By the pressure of our mother's side. The world is in trouble today. Be at your corner. Treat your life well. Build a good family. And that's why it's good to come to church with your family, with your wife, and with your kids. When I was preaching at the first service, I told them, I told them, I told them a stressing story. Yesterday, I and my wife we went to a place to negotiate something with a certain bank manager. When you are in church, you are blessed. Any time that you are in church, you are blessed. Listen to what we are teaching you. Put them into practice. And now when I see my sons in the Lord, sitting their wives very nice and then they are taking care of their children. So no wonder if it's not by gospel, these people could be with Hala around anybody. See these foreign boys. See their beers. The way they trim their beard is like Osama Ben, Osama Ben Laden's brother. Huh? Look at the way they dress in church. Look at these beautiful guys. If it's not gospel, see how they can worry a lot of women. See, just all of you. Start, start. 
Turn and face them. Look at this guy. The one with the kaftan. The one with the seat with the tie hanky. The one with the full suit. And the one with the normal shirt. See these guys. If it's not by the grace of God and the preaching of the word. And they descend on any woman. day. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let us treat them well. Fathers. Let us treat them well. And more so, when you're a woman here and then you got married to a church and then you find somebody like me. So like these people. Those that we are preaching and teaching them. Uh, some of them we are biological for by the teachers as well. We are spiritual for but the teachers as, as biological for Somebody is in church, huh? he's, he's older than me 20 years. But because of the spirituality and the power, I put him into order. Thank God for the guys in church. They are not bad. But those who are bad are bad. Be very careful as well. There are some people in the church and they can mess up your life. Those people watch them. They are not close to the altar. They are not close to the man of God. Anybody who is in church is too bad. Huh? It's too serious and dangerous to the congregation. Those people, they are not close to the altar. It's very difficult for Joseph to mess up. Because my alone can correct him. It's very difficult for some people to mess up. Because my voice alone, I hear people in church. But I was about to fall into a situation. But I hear your voice in the spirit. I know my sheep. And my sheep knows my voice. Those bad boys in the church, when you are not close to the altar, you are not close to the man of God. Why? Because when you get close, you will be exposed. Let me tell you, sir. Physical things are things which has shadows in the spirit. Things that you see, people that they want to get close to the altar and the man of God. No. It's not because they don't like her. They are not living right. You can just get close to me and then you mess up. Either by information or by revelation. I'll correct you. I'll correct you. So distance yourself. Distance yourself. When you come to church, you put on some slim trousers. But and so she I know distance yourself. See those people who are very dedicated in church. Yesterday evening, I was I was discussing with this boy. Two hours. Some of you, I don't know your number. Because that you are living rough. I pray that you don't continue such a life. And I pray for my girls. Pray for my daughters. Not all men are equipped. Not all men are wise. Not all men that want to live a clean life. Be very careful. We are celebrating Father, but some of the guys are very dangerous. Some people pretentious, they can come to church. They to mess up a lot of girls. I pray that God have mercy upon your life. Amen. That is why you see, you see those people who are very well and then you see nature that they want to get close to the altar. Huh? They live life right. I'm begging you if you, are, if, you are, if you want to be a Rastafarian, that's not my problem. I don't, because it has been rampant in our stage now, in our age now. You see people doing that thing. Everybody wanted to do like this. And see, see them all over. But let me tell you, even in a secular way, there are some institutions that we respect so much in the system. One of them is pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical world. Medical world. Have you ever found out any doctor that you met to take care of you and that, that doctor is a rascal? One. And then in the medicine world, have you ever seen any any pharmacist which is living like that and then the next thing is a banking system and have you ever met anybody in the bank living like that uh, go to our airplanes and the system like that go find out the engineers and assistants have you ever met anybody like that the first which the word give exhaustion to it it's an altar. Pastors, have you ever seen pastors like that? And what do you have to draw your life like that? So if you are a man, have a, 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 a name. And that name needs to be what? Anet. 
So you have to be very careful. People can just mess up in church. They are fathers. But they have no honor. So people can contribute to it to make you, your name to be an honor. So that's why I say we should hallow the name of Jesus. So when you are in church, you have to live right. And I thank God. And many people when they come to church and they get close to the altar. Very soon they sign. Very soon. I don't want to mention them. So people become offended. People become offended. I will not mess up, but those who wanted to get close to him. So if you're a father, either potential biological, uh, live right. Some of the girls they are in church. Sometimes they are very soft. So you come and then you use your mind and then you start sleeping with them. And then you use your mind. I want to marry you. I want to marry you. Before you find out that. He had been sleeping with more than four guests in the church. Take them and then you are doing this. It's not good for your name. Be very and and let me tell you, no matter what, what, you can't hide it all. What do you mean, It will appear. Definitely. So if you are living right as a father, so either potential or biological, so live right. Now, four things I want to say, speak. speak. That they are fathers, if you want to be a good father. One of the things is that don't be absentee father. Good. Put your hands together for this girl. Don't be absentee. You don't impregnate women and then what we are looking for, he said it's no more. Jack of all train, master of now. Always you are running. When you impregnate someone, be there when you must be a waho, the fact I'm talking different. about those who are married and then properly. If mistakenly and then you impregnate somebody, uh, be there for the woman so that you impregnate. Don't just be like a father which you are absent every day, anytime. Don't be an absentee father. And so I went out to scatter a seed. Some fell in the roadside. The roadside seed is absentee fathers. Never be absentee father. Be there with your kids. Maybe you don't like the woman. But be there for the child. He said, Zarius. He ran to Jesus. He said, my daughter is sick. He is a man, a soldier. A man in a position. But he's there for his daughter. I pray in the name of Jesus. Don't be an absentee father. And the next thing, don't be a permissive father. Sorry, sir. Don't be a permissive father. Anytime, go ahead. Let my kids do whatever they want to do. Correct them. That is why you are in good church. By the grace of God, I am not most good pastor. I am not the most highest and the good pastor on earth. But I am a pastor. I know what I am doing. I am not a permissive father. When you go wrong, I will bring you back. When you do right, I will heal you. I declare in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Don't be a permissive father. That's a pastor. Say, leave them. Let them do what they do. God will stop them. No, I am here. I won't let God stop you. I will stop you. I am here. When was the last time you see God coming down to stop anybody? It's my duty as a father. When you are messing up, I will match you up. When you are messing up, I will match you up. And when you are not living right and then you are doing that, you will never like me and I will never like you. I'm so telling you. So be very careful. Why can't you come to church and then blah, 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 blah. before I see you here, Charlie Pine, before I see you here, Charlie Pine, huh? I will stop you in the middle. Of. I will not let you cross from here to get here. These are the seats and then the precious peace of God. And when you read 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 20, said, I bought you with a price. It's the price upon people. Yes. So don't be a permissive. That's why sometimes they say, hey, Papa, it's too hard, it's too hard. So Charlie, so thank God I'm hard. hard. Thank God I'm hard. hard. With all my hardness, some of you are still doing rough. So what about I am not like that? Even though I am hard, eh? so there's a boy in this church. Came into this church. 
Join protocol. I don't know. I've never met anybody who is careful like that boy. Telling people that you can just take people to abroad and then I'm doing passport, this agent, something with with guests all over. Sometimes he can just change the numbers and the digits. He said, I am calling you from abroad and something, something. This is yours. And then he sent pictures. Uh, there are some places in Kumasi when he took pictures, uh, even in Accra, it's like you are in abroad. And this boy is messing up a lot. Sleeping with guests all over. Protect your name as a father. Now listen, today you are down there. Maybe God is marching you to come to this altar. So take look up your life. As a father, don't be permissive. Anything you are there, anything you are there. Uh, there are some boys in this church, anytime you close service, uh, you find somewhere to sit and then to drink something. Some, stop that attitude. Stop that attitude. It's not a good life of a Christian. Remember, someone, the automatic blessing which is in three folds. Blessed are those who does not walk in the way of sinners. Stand in the council of the wicked. Sit in the place of mockers. Have you ever gone to a bar or a place where you say you want to relax and you met them playing a gospel music there? Why are they not playing gospel music? So if you're a child of God, you does not belong to that place. You have rejected you already. Some of you say, I'm a Vienna. May the Lord May the Lord forgive you. What are you going to do there? Those of you who are not going to be sorry, Stop that. Give the money to the girl. Huh? Me, I'm not against that. You can ask somebody, oh, my sister, me, 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 but see the new woman. Turn and peer. Ah, one year, baby, I'm a yes. Now, bravo, brecham. Who does my eye brecham? Get a poor view of a cotton baby. I mean, I saw me, poor, because I'm a preacher first service, my preacher second service. Who else will have a break? Oh, my cross, I'm a break. You're a baby, one year, baby, 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 I am when I pray for somebody and I pray for you. Stop it now. once, divide my family. I'm telling you. Emam When your husband starts doing that, stop him. It's better that you join your wife, you join your husband to go there. But every day. Stop that. Me see we lose to Christ, I'm telling you. We are father, I'll protect your name. We are a job. But what do you know what pain? Then I go back to Vienna City. Ah, then I go back. As a father, what are you going to learn there? One day, me find me, my boy. I'm sitting there, boy, sit in the car. I'm driving, I'm doing coaching, I'm driving. Though it's close. Me see, and I'm seeing things, I'm doing some parties. I'm sure she's a me kasache. Some boys from Kogi University, I'm going to say what. But me catch you as a good father. So me me pray for me. What I said? Oh, sorry, I want to bar. Oh, man, I who raise you, man. Oh, anti. Oh, wait, man, man, you don't have What are you teaching them? Don't be a permissive father. We didn't even control. We didn't even come out. Nobody loves you more than your wife. Except your wife is a witch. Thank God for those of us that we have a good wife now. Me tell me, you papa. Eh, my man is a father. So, who be ya? Oh, yeah, we are book rank. I'm a dawa man. I am me. I will. Who be ya? So, about me, I mean, no, do you mean? No, catch your see, you see. I mean, Kuan, Kabi, Lususika, 400 million. I thank God for the advice of my wife. I don't listen to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw something which I think. It's opportunity I wanted to buy. I ran for 400 million. Day before I released the money, I called my wife. 
Say, 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 I want to pay. Say, don't pay. Come home. Say, ah, opportunity. Or say, don't pay. Come back home. And then I went back home and said, now listen. Jack, let me tell you. Mwa, mu ye permissive, I will be in Timin Kamasam now. You are dead before tomorrow. Upi, I will be in Timin Kamasam. Oh, it's enough. Maybe talk to you. Oh, this is the reason. Oh, you're in Timin Kamasam. I don't know about Komana. Or Badi, you're in this kind of way, Yaman. Ube, who now time also? Listen to your wife. Don't be permissive. Any time around you on the run. Any time around. Also, if you come now, don't pay the money. Because you know, see him throw him in as I see any idea. Not knowing, you say, say anyone all to my mommy now. Me pan as I see where we are. When I call and then the chief say, no, that boy, you're a penny crutch, you know. To my 400 cities, huh? by the call of my wife. Julia, hey, Tia, Tia, and your pride, hey, Jimmy. Me see, and your pride, Eric. Jimmy, maybe I'm hearing Timmy come and say, "What bow down?" Obey my sorry, I'm not the one to tear down. We hearing Timmy come and say, "Now I'm never come and say." Or do so much, some person will be lose you. He be here when I do. Now we hear it down chain. Is it the same system? No, or you want Timmy? I know where you. You want Timmy? Or try? Who need you? Ah, women are very. When you have a, a woman, when you about do so much, huh? It's the best. No so about when you make ready. No saddle ready. Ah, when ya, you don't be a permissive. That man here in Canada say my Bible, you know? Even Nabel. Now you see me cruel the way Jimmy or who turn for a wentie. The David, family, they have put their family cruel. So I know that no one's away Jimmy. Wow. The man who join me here, learn to listen to your husband. David, the man who change of a pet baby kakra, Eddie. What is not serious? What show one who you know say open baby kakra mama? Now me name, me name in club four. I quite say why need David? Me name no. I need say oh David many some. Was you first and come one? No Benny and some four. I feel chill. I can prepare the ane ni ni amadi come out David. I can no boot David and him come to you no see me will have a slow. For chairman, I'm going to die. Me ni answer I will form. So I have been man now. I permissive. I buy one ni ni answer. I buy one so one ni answer so. Two ni two away. I pay the crown all this year. All the baby man now. Let chill me. I buy one. Be born by say a mumu, but don't be a permissive father. Huh? When you do that, huh? you lose your blessing. The women of this house, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. As you remain in this house and then listen to the word of God, may the Lord use you and bless your life. Don't do that. And the last abusive fathers, they abuse their life, they abuse everybody. Anybody around them, they are like dogs. Ma, ma, lion, ma, 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 ma. You know, you make me coffee, me back girl, what chair me saw, the third girl. So what chair say me sound very well. If you say what that, we are my first lady, now me chair say me hug you, and sana me call, I call that. You buy dear me cap. Ah, praise the Lord. You buy dear me cap, no buy na. I be hug me. My first lady, I feel me to my call, I call that. I didn't hear. Be there for your children as a father. Huh? Sometimes this boy, God bless you. Papa, my mini jam crana mammy to me told me ka I could fear. Nama kosho mama mini ni ha ah. Live such a life and crown by door. For four be bra father day, ah. Why would you move for father day non to so? I did you my move on to so away. Tie. I did even mind the question. That be handkerchief. Any anon me. Any aja. Eh? Father's day. Tie we know my two hundred. We made the other. But I'm the mad yet to swa. No man should send me a man. No, I'm not born yet. Man, it's time. Not drink is easy. No, I don't do much. No, I catch. I say, Mama, mobile best sack. Time. Anyway, where do you know? And you go to another handkerchief. I refuse to be a bad father. Shut. I refuse to be a bad father. Refuse to be a bad father. Ah, Papa, me told me that recently I called up from ah the church has done a lot. Thank God for the church. I call one of my church, my 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 boy. Say, Papa. Me banner for me girl in the view of my four fronty. Me girl in me banner me the neck coda. Now pop. What did that? Me banner say papa. Me riaba. No aso no banner me bad. That it came. Ah, I didn't hear. They are fine wisdom in the church. So don't be abusive, father. Only now. When you will fear, you don't take care of them. You, you see, and you are just abusing. Be very careful. Be very careful. Abuse people. Anya 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 anya. Nobody can advise you. As soon as you say say so too far, that's a woman. Nobody can talk to you now. Huh? You fall on the roadside. 
or say abano ebi kogu butan so ah wicked fathers at the same time abusive fathers o bit me no no an ba da what a curse abusive ne ba no ah me tie france 24 almost see us on my research over 28 months sir and from 12 to 13 14 the amount of free suba and boni mo and he said a ja any ena eta hagi wo mo i learned that thing way back that's why when people come to you, I hug them. Huh? It's the best way of love. When you read Luke chapter 15, verse 20 down, or see that Jan Hun or Tomikan, no quiet, or Bamano, or Finano. From that day I learned, go ask my wife. Till today, me I'm doing my co school. But I can employ driver. I can buy one car. We can take Adintia. I want to show them love. I thought I'm a da, a bomb pie with my da. But I'm back to no crumb daddy. Stand for our school. Who are former Tade? I feel me beam on all their bremi. All their film would do, Papa. Just take us to school. We don't do school at the best that I can do. I sat them in front of me. Yam will be a home school more. Since some of the parents almost are here. You know, Mukasa, we are not a chimney banner by me, not a fin of Momaso. We'll be a baby. Sometimes it is a crabby thing called God that said, or be few, or be few, or be few. Not my fake, Cassa, my fake. Not me, the man of Bem, and not me, the woman, Mama, Abba me. That I know the one thing I'm saying, but I'm in faith. Praise the Lord. Huh? I am I, I, I am releasing my spirit as a father. Me bani do I didn't raise any teacher sending my catch and said I'm going home. What the bama mafe? Everybody can go on shall praise the Lord. Cause I will feel so I don't feel it. So maybe I will feel cool. Because you have a type of kissing. Jesus Christ. You can kiss your wife. You can kiss somewhere. You can kiss the uh, But don't kiss now. Shalimu se bredo. It is obi anya brisa obi fia. Obi fia no akati se brada. Hold on. Is it the Judas one? Oh, the betrayer kiss. Praise God. I, I love to do that. Is that my friend almost come on in your mouth? We didn't mean to do up and on my get up. Papa no barber fit. Papa no barber fit. One of the teachers, they asked my son, oh, my daughter, said, ah, why is it that always be up a papa? No, my unit is saying, my film must. I didn't tell you to be up a papa. No, I was a son of my papa. I didn't tell you. Such a child. We'll be trash or bad be sooner. Very simple. I didn't tell you. Hug. Morning, I hug them. I embrace them. I kiss them. Huh? Don't be abusive, father. The last, he said, the last seed fall on the good ground. Abana ya papano. Be a good father. Huh? Now, if you've been a good father, huh? be there with your kids. Be there with your wife. Huh? When the woman knows that you love her, you love her. When the woman knows that you love her, when he knows that you love her, so much, eh? he will translate that to your children. God bless you. He translate that to your children. So when you do that, be there with them. My boys, listen to me. Sons, listen to me. When you are fortunate and by the grace of God, you marry somebody in this house. Or whatever that you are married. Or whatever you are going to marry. Treat them well. Huh? God bless men who treat their wife well. I'm telling you, any man who is not treating his wife well, God will delay your progress. I'm telling you today, this is not a Bible fact. I am telling you experience from God. Any man who does not treat his wife well, your progress will delay. I learned one thing my wife told me I didn't know. That follow me to weigh in when I'm going to weigh in. Follow me. I will show you Anna. And for all this, why I don't know. Not knowing that when you're a man and then you are taking your children to weigh in. When the females are 200, as soon as they see you coming, they will start taking your destiny and weigh in. So my wife told me, say, no, it's lie. So no, it's true. Let's go. Then I follow my wife. As soon as we get there, then I'm taking my child with the dress and everything. Say no, 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 don't do like that. Huh? Naked the girl, live with this in uh, pampers or something. And as soon as I took off everything, I, I saw the next. Oh, daddy, daddy. I thought they know me in church. So daddy, dad. 
No, let us wait for you. Let no, us wait your child. For you. And they took my child and then they no, wait. And then they released me. No, it's, it's, so, so, it's funny like that. It is say, cry, cry, sir. Then every day I will join you in the way. Praise the Lord. What a lovely thing is that. I spared my wife from two hours kiwi. Because I am assisting him. Be a good father. Sometimes dash your wife money. Not every day money that I gave you one million, I gave you two million. Dash her money. Recently somebody dash me money. And I called her. Somebody dash me something. So at least take this one. Let her know. Because if your wife has it in mind that you are not right with him. So you don't say you more than one he will show you something. Uh, women, God has given them a lot of. So, let us be a good man. And you being a good man and a wife is an evil. God will save you. Because God will save the good from the bad. So be good as a good father. Some fall on the road. Some fall on the rock. And some fall on the tongues. And that's a generational curse. No, 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 no. As we're growing, so we need, you know, the tongues and the tests will no, flash your no, life. No, no, no. Some people, we are growing from the curse of our fathers. Every day, our fathers are beating our mothers way back. And they were beating them. And so they were beating them. And 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 they were beating them. My girls and my boys who have married in this church. I know my sons are good sons. If you're facing any trouble, don't be afraid. Come to me. Father, my husband is doing this. Can you talk to him for me? I'll put him into order. And it will be a blessing. That some of you that your wives are... Your, your husbands are telling you, ah, if you don't know and then you let this thing get to Papa, I'll kill you. Come and tell me so that he'll kill you. Than to die emotionally. I learned something. I went to Nigeria with my great prophet. And then he went to Papa Oyedepo. And then we didn't have opportunity to go there. It's only my spiritual father and his wife. As soon as they get into the office, this is what Papa came back and told us. He said, this is what Papa Oyedepo said. Ask my wife if this boy is messing up Tell me now. I will treat him for you. What people don't know is that when you marry a man who has a spiritual father and respect the spiritual father, you are saved. But if you marry somebody who has no spiritual father, so he came back and advised us. That thank God that I'm your spiritual father. If you, if you make rough in your life, and I get to know that, I will treat you like what Papa Oye put on. So let me tell you this: those of you that you have, you have, you have opportunity to have us as a spiritual father, and you are warning your wife, don't let Papa hear this. And you are drinking in a secret place and then you are taking alcohol. And you are spoiling your life. And you don't want your spiritual father to know. Meanwhile, you are not ready to stop. Come and break it to me. I'll call that person into the order. Let me tell you this. You are blessed to have spiritual fathers. Everybody from left to right. Some of them, their cases not coming to me. But they won't try. They won't mess up. Why? It's evil for a blind man to lead a blind man. Both of them will fall into them. Jesus is not blind. Your leader is not blind. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. We lead you to a place where your life will be rich. So thank God for spiritual fathers. Don't reject us. Some of us today is Father's Day. After all, what else can you do? Send us a message. Small gift. Small seed. Mobile money. Papa, what is your mobile money number? 024495 something something something. Send. Simple thing. 
And why are you running away from your spiritual father? They are there for you. Papa, may the Lord bless you. Somebody hug me down there. See, Papa, I came to the first service. I am going home. Today is the first service. Papa, I have nothing for you. Come and receive your hug. And then the girl hugged me. I said, thank you for your hug. But what is my gift? He said, next week. I said, no problem, next week. You see, show us love. What we are doing here, we are doing a lot. As I'm going home yesterday, very late, one of my daughters called me with a laughter and a spirit. Say, Papa, I love you so much. I know tomorrow you are going to be busy. So let me send you my wishes. Happy, happy Father's Day. You have been a father to me. You have blessed my life. Without your correction and then your rebook, I could have not been where I am today. Papa, if I were not, if it's not you, I could have been messing up my life. Papa, as I'm, talk, as I'm calling you now, I am, stand, I am stepping out of bathroom and I'm saying, may the Lord bless you and increase you. Grow to become an old man and keep on correcting us. What a blessing. How do you treat your spiritual men? Are you distancing yourself? Or you are getting close to them? Because that you are living a funny life. It's good to have spiritual fathers than to be alone. It's not because there's no spiritual fathers. There's spiritual fathers. But you yourself, you say, I don't want spiritual fathers. Because I don't want anybody to correct me. The last time I checked in the Bible, someone is as successful as a leader because he has a father called Eli. Who is your spiritual father? And today is a Father's Day. Pray hard. Get close to a certain spiritual father. There's a lot of tense ministers here. As this boy, sometimes he says, Papa, somebody has asked me to accept me, to take me as a son and papa I'm referring them to you that you are my father so they should come but do you know what they will say to this boy he said no papa is too high so let us take you I will take you and then you lead us to papa that's any authority by chains of level and as this boy is following and others are following it with the same spirit spirit of just men follow the same I pray for all my sons and daughters as a father in this ministry that your life will never fall into any ditch. I declare the blessings of God from this highest altar. If there's any demonic chase against your life, I pray in the name it is cancelled. And I declare from north, south, east and west if there's any meeting around your life because I am your spiritual father I will lift up my hands in the name of Jesus. Jesus we know, Paul we know. Who are you? My name is Atapuku Jebi. My name is in the archives, in the names, and then the servants of God. I qualify to pray for everybody. If there's any demonic sign, time and date against your life, I declare in the name of it is.